Hello. In this video, we'll be going over how to access the display through the Virtual Machines Bash Terminal or Linux Terminal. Um, so the first thing we'll need is uh, the display needs to be connected to your host computer. So in this case, my host computer is this Windows 7 computer. If you don't know how to connect the display to the computer or you haven't done that, uh, please go watch the video explaining how to connect the display via Ethernet to your host computer. Um, there's also a video on using PuTTY in Windows. So we can use PuTTY to just confirm that the display is actually connected and we can reach it from our Windows operating system. So I'm just going to use PuTTY here uh, to test this out. There's also a video on using PuTTY, so if you don't know how to do this, please go check out that video. Um, so you can already see, oops, I uh, gave it the wrong name. Uh, but you can already see that I was connected, so it uh, gives me a login as, so if it gives me that, um, we know that I'm actually connected to the display, and I'm using a VA display, and uh, you can see the, the pound sign here indicating we're connected, and I can move to the op directory and see a list of files. So we are, in fact, connected. We can connect from our Windows machine to the display and that's an important step to make sure that you can connect that far. So once we can confirm that, uh, we can open up the virtual machine here. So as I've shown before, we have, uh, I've created some videos on virtual machine setup and everything. So if you haven't set up the virtual machine, please go watch those videos. But we have uh, the virtual machine here. You can see for me it's running because I've already double clicked it and it's running so we don't need to wait for it to start up so i'm just gonna go ahead and open it um so this is the virtual machine and as i've said in previous videos mine may look slightly different than yours so this should be short um to access the display through the virtual machine we are just going to come down here on this sort of black computer looking icon and click it and you'll see this opens up CCS Bash. So this is the Bash terminal within Linux. And we are logged into the virtual machine as the CCS user, which is the default user, and we can see that here. Um, okay, so how we access the display within this Bash terminal is uh, just a note too, you'll notice if we go into PuTTY, how we've accessed it was we've selected SSH here as our connection type. So we're actually going to do the same thing in our virtual machine and use SSH to access the, <coughs> the display uh, via Ethernet. Um, SSH is secure shell. You can look up some more information about that online. So we're going to type SSH and then the username that we want to log in as on the display. So in that case, we want to log in as the root user. And then we're going to use the at sign and then the IP address of the display. So root at 192.168.0.26. Uh, your IP address may be different. So again, watch the videos on connecting to the display, finding your display's IP address. Uh, there's a lot of information on that. Um, so I hit enter here and it asked me for the password. So the password for root is, as we've discussed before, SUS root, and I type that in. You'll notice the cursor didn't move here. So in this bash terminal, it doesn't move if you're typing the password. So it'll really look like you're typing nothing, um, but Rest assured, you are typing something. So after you type it, just hit enter. And you'll see again, we have this pound sign. Uh, we can check that we are in fact in the display by typing 
CD opt, and uh, we can look at the the files in our opt directory. Um, if you have not watched or are not familiar with the common Linux commands, please go watch that video. Um, all right, so that does it. And this is within the virtual machine, how we would gain access to the display, be able to move around files, be able to copy files from our virtual machine to the display or vice versa. So from the display to the virtual machine, um, we can modify everything. So a lot of, a lot of different things that we're going to want to do with our applications whether it be installing runtimes or installing applications on the display, uh, we need to be able to access the display. And, and this is how we do that within the virtual machine. Um, in Windows, we can use PuTTY and FileZilla um, as I've created videos on those. Go check those out. And that's it. Um, I will create another video on specifically getting files from the virtual machine and uh, to the display and then from the display to the virtual machine using a command called SCP. All right, thank you.